Alright, hey guys, this is Boogabatad56 here, and welcome to Play With Me. This is an indie horror game that came out on Game Jolt recently, kind of recently. Uh, I know many bigger YouTubers have been playing this. I'm not trying to copy them. I did see this individually on Game Jolt, and I have not seen anyone play this game. Uh, so, let's get started. Uh, I... I was recording this like a few seconds ago when I realized it wasn't recording, but I didn't get into the actual game, so it's gonna be my true reaction. Um, but uh, this is very relevant because tonight is the night of my birthday. <laughs> so during the night of your birthday, I'm guessing that's the clown. That's me. I'm pretty sure you want to play. I don't. Not this game, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, everything's evil, it appears. Uh, but never look me in the eye. Seems kind of like the backwards thing to do. When you look at a clown, you want to look at what they're doing. Although that wouldn't be their eyes. At least, not usually. Anyways. Except if you want to die. Very good poetry. Alright. Uh, find the four candles to solve the puzzle. Then reach the key until that. Uh, reach the key that'll set you free. That's very small text. No, I don't want to do this. I'm six years old. I have to play the no. Candles. Whoa. What about them? Oh, oh, right. I need the candles. Uh, what if I didn't take those? I'm trying to- I'm kind of looking down a lot. Oh no, it's the whole house. I was hoping it was just this room. So I could kind of keep track of everything. Oh! What am I doing? That was kind of obvious what I'm supposed to be doing. I hope there's not a jump scare right after this. I'm forgetting it now. Ah, oh, okay. I'm. Don't do that. What's happening? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Scared the pants right off me. Alright. Well, at least I know what happens when I do that. I don't want to do that. I figured that's... I figured it would happen. As you could clearly tell. Alright. No, I don't want to play this game. <sighs> Alright, let's not do that again. I mean, that was a good scare, I suppose. But, uh, let's not do that. How very squeaky of you. Uh, I like that it's at least a little bit lit up. This whole house. Um, I don't like that I can't... S There's some candles there. Oh, shit. Uh... I'll just take those. Oh, there he is. He's in there. Oh, okay. He's so he, he teleports around. And I don't want to look at his eyes. Oh, no, no, no. Don't look. Oh, I think I'm doing actually okay. Alright. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 
Noping on out. Oh, huh. There's some candles. There's only four candles and a key. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, what happened there? I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure I didn't get seen, or didn't see him. I mean, I saw him, but I started walking away, and then it went back to normal. But I guess I can't do that. So there's one in the garage, one in the kit, uh, on the table. Unless it's random, like Slenderman. It probably is with this luck, with good luck. It isn't. Uh, all right. No, it doesn't appear to be random. I like that. That means I can just speed run this. I'm trying to look out th through the corners to try to not get seen. Or not see him. I don't need to go in there, it appears. Alright. So he appears over here. Let's not look at him. Okay, I'm trying to... I don't know what happens there. Do I have to just sort of back up through the door? Oh, I'm alive. Ow, oh, come on. Stop that. Okay, that works. Nope. Not doing it. Not taking any of that. Nope, no, no. My vision is... Nope. My vision is spazzing out slightly. Stop teleporting. I think that's a sound he makes when he teleports. I was so expecting that. I was so ready for that. I'm gonna go upstairs, see if there's any upstairs. Nope, stop that. Stop following me. I don't like this game. I think he teleports in front of you, so I'm trying to turn around. Not there. I'm actually handling this much better than I thought I would. Stop that. No, not there. Oh, he was right there a few seconds ago. Oh, why is he there? Can I just do that? Oh, that was easy. Uh, how many have I gotten? I, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep looking. Oh, the doors just close more naturally. That's what it is. All right. That's what the slamming noises are. Stop that. All right. The animations are really cool, though. All right, where is he? I'm not sure how to get through this door. Oh, I can just do that. Alright. No, stop that. What am I looking for? Oh! Why did he have to be right there? Oh, this is the garage again. Okay. And he's gonna be over here. Or not, I guess. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, yeah, the front door's closed, that makes sense. Uh, nope. I need a key, that's right, that was the goal. Yeah, so he appears over there when you go near that. Can I take the present? It's my birthday. Well, it's actually the night before my birthday. There's nothing in here that I can think of. That I could find anyway. Okay, thought I saw him maybe. I don't see anything. Wait a second, weren't I upstairs when I. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright. I'm at least getting to know the triggers in this game. Because it is made in Unity, and I know how Unity works. So I should be able to understand this game. Where is he in this room? Okay, so he's in the middle. Oh, if I do the this now, does no, probably not. 
Can I close the door too? I don't know if that makes me safe. I don't know if I should do that. No, not really. Not particularly. Bad. I don't know. Oh, damn it. What the heck? I'm still... I'm alive, I guess. It's that background noise, too. The background music is pretty creepy. The slidey sound. Why is he there? Come on, he's never been there. It's a, this is kind of like the opposite of SCP Containment Breach. Not that I actually ever played that, but because uh, you know me and the scary games. So I think this goes upstairs, to, if I'm right. Oops, stop that. Nope. See, the problem is I have to look around, yet I have to not... Oh, I didn't know this door was here. Or was it this door? Ooh, locked door. Okay. Oh, this is the hall, right. So that wasn't upstairs. I see you down there, I think. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna keep looking, because I, I don't see... Oh, I didn't go through here. I didn't see this door. I think. Oh, the key. Yes. Oh. Tabbed out, somehow. Can I take the key? And then go to the front door. I can do this. I think I have a strategy, though. By looking down, I don't have problems with staring at him by accident. I can't move. Can't move. There's a spiral there. I have a feeling I don't want to... I... Very nice, very nice. Oh, I did it! Wow, I actually did it. That's the first horror game I've ever completed. Because <laughs> I don't really play them. Ah. Wow. I mean, that wasn't that intense as horror games go. Like, it could have... It could have been made much creepier. I'm sure it's it's still being updated, I believe. Uh, but it was released in two months from a student. Cool. Uh, so that's that's pretty impressive for uh, how intricate this game is. Uh, so thank you uh, for creating this uh, game, uh, creators and. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode or video on uh, Will You Play With Me, or Play With Me, sorry. <laughs> and I'll see you. No, no, I won't. Wait. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, it just goes back to the main menu. <laughs> Alright, so please comment, rate, subscribe, uh, leave me suggestions on more videos that I should play, and I'll see you in the next video. Over and out. In which provides a fruit garden in the city. Yeah. Built. Built. Alright. Uh, similar could be good, but that would create more unhappiness. There's like five unhappiness per city or something. Yeah, six generated from two cities, so it's a. Uh, six unhappiness, so that's uh, three unhappiness per city. And...